To balance this reaction, NaCl plus CuSO4, that's sodium chloride plus copper 2 sulfate, I've added up the atoms on each side of the equation. It looks like, to balance the equation, the only thing that's different, we have one sodium here and two on the product side. One chlorine, and then on the product side, two. So if we put a coefficient of two in front of the NaCl, one times two, that would give us two sodiums. This two applies to everything, one times two. That would give us two chlorines, and we've balanced this equation. The more important question is, does this reaction actually happen? And to answer that, we need to look at solubility. So this is a solubility table, and we can look and see whether each one of these compounds is dissolved in water, if it's what we call aqueous, soluble in water. So we look down, we find sodium right here, and then chloride. So since this is soluble, we write a little AQ after it, which means soluble in water. For the CSO4, we go down, we find copper, that's Cu2 plus here, and then the sulfate way over here, and that's soluble. So we can put an AQ after this as well. For the products of the reaction, again, we go down, find sodium, and we're going all the way over to the sulfate here, and it's soluble. So let's put an AQ after it. Finally, we find copper, and then we go over to the chlorine, and that's soluble as well. So when we have the aqueous, that means that this is dissolved in water. It's broken apart or dissociated into its ions. So Na, that's Na plus. Cl is Cl minus. Copper is that Cu2 plus. And then SO4, that's 2 minus. That's the sulfate ion. So these are all broken apart and dissolved in the water. On this side of our equation, it would be the same thing. We'd have Na plus, SO4, 2 minus. Those are all dissolved, copper 2 plus, and then the Cl minus. Really nothing's happened. We haven't made anything new. Nothing's changed. If we wanted to balance our ions, we probably should put a 2 in front of these here. So we have the same number on each side. Here we have the 2, we have the 2 chlorines. So in fact, there's no reaction here. Nothing happens. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for a reaction that doesn't happen, NaCl plus CUSO4. Thanks for watching.